Some of you may already know this tip, and many of you may not. So let's get started. Many electronic devices that use alkaline chemistry batteries, such as alkaline batteries like you see here, or it could be a nickel metal hydride battery, when they leak, they cause a lot of damage to battery holders inside electronic devices. If you look right over here on the spring-loaded section, which is where the negative would go, and over here this ring section where the positive would go, you can see there's a lot of corrosion. It's green, and that's a result of the battery leaking. ends up going all over the plated surfaces. Usually these are plated, and it eats away at the metal. And when it does that, you end up with all this corrosion. Now, I have seen a lot of electronics over the years that were tossed out in garbage dumps. And the one you see right here is a really good one. Let me show you. This radar and laser detector made by Escort, which is not a cheap unit. And it is a little older unit, but I can't complain because I found it in a dumpster right over by the Goodwill store before they put a lot of the items on the shelf. They're going to test them first. If they don't work, they end up in the dumpster. Now, it was missing this clip. Of course, I wasn't going to buy a clip, so I ended up making this clip out of a piece of brass using my Dremel. I had a couple of suction cups laying around, and this little piece of material just adds some thickness. It's like a Teflon feel to it, very slippery, and it slides right in, and it locks, and it stays very nice on the windshield. When I took this home, I opened up the back, and sure enough, inside here, this was completely green. These connections did not look like that. Both sides were pretty well trashed. And I knew exactly what had to be done to fix it, because I've done it so many times in the past. Now let's take a look at the other one I just showed you, on the unit that I'll be working on in a different video. You can see over here, it's got that green look. You can see how bad it is there. Way inside there, it's hard to see, it's green. Right there, maybe. And on this side, you can see the red wire. It's pretty trash where it goes onto that ring connector. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can easily remove all that corrosion. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need a toothbrush. White vinegar. White vinegar is going to neutralize all the alkaline electrolyte that leaked inside the battery holder. You're also going to need a few Q-tips. Put them over here. And you're going to need a small screwdriver, a flat blade. The first thing you want to do is take the toothbrush and see if you can loosen up some of that corrosion. You don't want to start cleaning until you remove some of the heavy corrosion that's in place. So go over the whole thing. Toothbrush works extremely well for this. So that looks a little better there. Okay, now let's go over here where this is pretty corroded. And inside there where the ring is. Now this is a very good tip because a lot of people throw away expensive flashlights that have batteries that leak in them, remote controls, and so many other electronics. So this is something you definitely want to remember for the future. Bang it out. Okay. Now, even though it looks a lot cleaner, you still have to remove that alkaline electrolyte all over those connections. Take white vinegar, take your Q-tip, and then you're just going to gently brush over. And it's going to be sizzling, which you'll see in a minute. Let me get more on here. Let me do that right here, too. You can see it already cleaned off a lot of it, and the shine is coming in. It's looking better. Just rub it over that. If the leak was really bad, you're going to see a lot of bubbles when you go to do this. Let me reach inside here. Now keep in mind, you don't want to put too much, because when you put this... See, right now I'm in that spot. And I could actually hear a sizzling sound as it's working. And there's some bubbles here which might be hard to see. You're going to keep doing this until all the corrosion is gone. Keep rolling the Q 
Q-tip around. If you want, you could take the toothbrush, reach in there to clear away a lot of the corrosion. This is looking pretty good. You can also take the blade of a screwdriver, reach in, and scrape away some of that crud where the corrosion is the green. And if the surface here is really, really damaged, you're going to want to scrape it like this to ensure it's nice and shiny so you make good contact with the battery. Apply a little bit more if you want. Let me get another Q-tip. Okay. Rub it on. And do the same here. If this edge is all corroded heavily, scrape it away with the edge of a screwdriver. Get rid of all that corrosion. Make sure it's shiny. And you can do it to each one. Only do this enough just to make it nice and shiny. Don't overdo it because you'll end up pulling off all of the plating that's on there. Okay, let me turn this around. Do the same on that one. This one's not bad there. And this right here wasn't in bad shape, so I'll pull that apart a little bit. And I can put it inside and roll it. And it's getting that rivet that's holding the spring down. It's getting all over that. All right, that looks nice and shiny in there. We get one more Q-tip here. Let's rub it on there. When you're doing this with a remote control or electronic devices, it's a really a good idea for you to disassemble the electronic device because in case any vinegar goes in, you want to be able to dry it. You don't want that coming into contact with the circuit board. It will end up corroding. So use as little as possible to get the job done. Once you're done, take a clean Q-tip, dry off all the excess, Wipe it all down. Then you're going to take some 91% rubbing alcohol, like you see right over here. Then you're going to take the Q-tip, and you're going to dip it in the rubbing alcohol, and then you're going to go over every single area. Once you do that, you can take a paper towel, blot away any excess rubbing alcohol, allow it to air dry for a few minutes, and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. You save the electronic device. And the worst case scenario, and I've seen it happen a few times, over here, where you see the wire soldered. This may corrode enough where it snaps off. So what you might have to do is scrape the outside over here. All right, I didn't treat this yet, but I will. You would end up scraping this, putting just a little bit of flux, and you could take the red wire and solder it right back on, right over here. Don't apply too much heat. You'll make the rivet too hot, and it will push straight through the holder. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.